In this lesson, we are going to learn how to customize each ribbon and quick access toolbar with examples. While a lot of options are already available using the tabs and ribbons in Excel, not everything is there. And you may want to add a few new functionalities to the ribbon or to the tab. So let me show you how you can customize this ribbon with some examples. Okay? Right click on the any of the tab. For example, I just select this insert tab, right click it. You have these options where you see the customize the ribbon. Click on this option. It opens the Excel option dialog box, right? On the left side at the top, you have these commands. So it would say the popular commands as it's mentioned. That means it only pop the popular or important commands. If you want to display all the commands, just click on this drop area and click on the all commands option. As soon as you click on it, this would display entire options that are available in Excel. See? Okay. On the right side, you can see your existing tab list. If I move here, you can see file, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, help, and PowerPoint, right? These are my existing tabs. Same thing I already selected by ticking on it. See, home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, add scene, help, and PowerPoint, right? Even each tab you can expand like this. For example, I just want to expand this home tab. I just click on it. Under the home tab, you have this much of groups which I mentioned earlier again if you want to expand this just click on this see these are the tools which is available under respective group as well okay in case if you want to add some other tabs like developer tab just go here and just click on the all tabs or main tabs and just click on main tabs you can see the developer tab just select it and click on this add button see as soon as I add it it has been up here here once it's moved to here and just click on this ok as soon as I click on ok one new tab has been appeared here called developer see this is the one we added right again I'm just going back to the same dialog box right click here and customize the ribbon and if I want to add some new group under this developer tab at present we have four groups like code adds in control XML right if I want to add some other group under this developer tab you just select the tab first it's already been selected after that click on new group and just click on it and after that under that group if you want to add some other tools for example calculator now is one of the tool and just click on it and adding it see it's come under new tabs and then just click on this new group option after that I just want to give some name on it so just select this and rename this group you can see the display name the field here I mean, for example I just going to give the name as my workbook okay and under this group I want to add some other tools like how you see this group under code you can see visual basic macros and so on so right I just want to add the respective tools for example you can see one option or tool called calculator now right just select this I want to add under this workbook group click on add it so it will come under this respective group and after that I just click on ok and you can see one group has been added here like my workbook right under that one tool has been included similarly just right click on here customize the ribbon if I want to add one more tool under the same group select the same group after that from left side you just select the respective tools or options for example I'm just selecting this email options and adding on it there's a two commands button or tool has been added under this group, right? So at present it's showing only one. It will pop up only after clicking OK. I just click on it. OK. See, the both are added under the same group. OK. In case if you want to hide or remove this developer tab, which we added now, just right click on it, customize the ribbon and just untick it and OK. See, it has been hided. OK. Similarly, if you want to add some options under this quick access toolbar, just select the any of the tab, right click it, customize the ribbon. You can see left side Excel options, quick access toolbar, just click on it. At present, as I already mentioned in the previous lessons, it shows only three options, save, undo and redo, right? As you can see here. In case if you want to add some more options, some more tools under this quick access toolbar, you can just select the respective tools from left side that which come under 
popular commands for example i'm just selecting this copy and add on it and selecting cut add on it and click on ok see this copy and cut has been added on this quick access toolbar in case if you want to remove this just right click on here customize the ribbon go to quick access toolbar select this remove and select this also remove it ok it see it's back to default mode clear so it's very really handy to add few options in your quick access toolbar which you would always have access very quickly so this is how you can customize your ribbon or quick access toolbar to add options that you frequently use hope you clear this topic and let's move to the next lesson Thank you.